Welcome to this preview of the full-length video expose entitled Jed Smock Deliberate Apostasy. This one in regards to his vigorous defense and promotion of arguably the most prolific heretic in Protestant circles today, Joel Osteen. Jed promotes many different heretic, false teachers, and abominable heresy, religious organizations like the Roman Catholic Church as well. He is arguably the most dangerous, corrupting influence in the open-air preaching community, and we are called to warn our neighbor to reprove the unfruitful works of darkness and warn those who may not know better not to be led astray by the error of the wicked. So Jed, in his promotion of heretics, actually has visited in person Joel Osteen to get his autograph and to go promote him in his wicked den of devils in his big arena that he calls a church where he leads people astray by the millions, uh, by media as well. And here he says how he includes... Roman Catholic Church is a Christian institution. Imagine that, the mother of abominations, calling it Christian. And avid defender of Joel Osteen, and that's why the hashtag reject Jed, because we're to reject heretics who are subverted and sinning, being condemned. And there will be other videos linked at the end and in the description if you're not aware of the details about how wicked and false in Joel Osteen's teachings that he actually is. He told Oprah flat out, yes, uh, gay persons will be accepted into heaven. Homosexuals will go to heaven, among other things as well. And here you see other statements. It's not necessary to be born again by Norman Vincent Peale, another one uh, Smock has defended for years. Christ is only one of the ways to heaven. All these wicked things, Billy Graham endorsing Islam, and of course the Pope, etc. These are just some snapshots from the full-length expose that I encourage you to check out when you get a chance. If you haven't yet, that from his own mouth, he doesn't deny it, promoting the most wicked heretics on the planet saying even the Lord has raised him up to be Joel's defender, Joel Osteen, and that Joel Osteen is God's man of the hour to make the church once again the foremost institution in America. Imagine that. person who says homosexuals will go to heaven is God's man of the hour. And even his defenders say that for years he has vigorously defended Robert Shuler, Norman Vincent Peale, and, you know, all the Joel Osteen types, and Jed Smock is very thankful that uh, it's confirmed by his defenders that he does these things. Doesn't deny it. The Bible says, They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Jesus, of course, informed us that all the law and the prophets hang on these two commands. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and your neighbor as yourself. Of course, Jed is in direct rebellion to both of those, forsaking the law, no fear of God. Imagine the most satanic, worldly worship performed in front of everybody that the Pope carries out in the Roman Catholic Church, incense to the Queen of Heaven, Joel Osteen, of course, subject to this video. Um, <clears throat> never concerned with how blasphemous this is to God. Some of the most abominable things there are. And Jed Smock, supposedly a preacher of righteousness, calls this Christian. So if you promote heretics and you promote heresy religious systems, the Bible principle shows us your response to evil reveals whether or not you yourself are evil. 2 Peter 2, 1 through 3 tells us that the false teachers who have brought in damnable heresies 
are going to bring upon themselves swift destruction. They will have swift destruction. They will have judgment from God and damnation. Titus 3, 10, 11, A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself. Galatians 1, 9, As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach another any other gospel unto you, than that you have received, let him be accursed. And Paul expressed his concern that as the serpent beguiled Eve in the Garden of Eden through his subtlety, that there would be some that would come and preach another Jesus to the Corinthians, and that they might not know better, and they might well bear with him, he said. See that their, their minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. He was expressing his concern. That's why we need to warn our neighbors. If somebody is preaching another Jesus, we don't want these people to be led astray and be beguiled like Satan does. So we need to warn. John 15, 19, If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. See, the love terminology here is the, from the Greek phileo. It means to be friendly with, to be fond of, to delight in. Well, these wicked, damnable heresies brought in by these wicked heretics, these people, Jed Smock is friendly with. He befriends them instead of rebuking them. Proverbs 17, 15, He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. Jed Smock's not a Christian at all, let alone a preacher of righteousness. He's abomination to God. He justifies the wicked. It's plain. Isaiah 5.20, Woe to them that call evil good and good evil. Put darkness for light and light for darkness. Put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Psalm 101.3, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. If you're a man of God, you would hate these wicked abominations. You would hate the works of them that turn aside. Psalm 119.53, Horror hath taken hold upon me because of the wicked that forsake thy law. Proverbs 8.13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. Summary, a child of God, fears God, hates evil, walks in obedience to him, and will therefore reject heretics, recognizing anyone promoting doctrine contrary to the gospel is accursed, will not approve of those of the world, and will hate their work. Conversely, a child of the devil justifies and speaks well of the wicked, does not hate their evil works, and therefore does not fear God, approves of those of the world, thereby making themselves friends of the world and enemies of God. Case closed. Reject Jed.